بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم سلام علیکم Whoever dies and does not know the Imam of time dies a death of a polytheist. This is a, a hadith from the Holy Prophet stating the importance of knowing who your rightful Imam of time is. Now, I ask you, um, what could this mean, knowing your Imam? Knowing that people knew Imam Ali was their Imam of time, they knew him. But they did not help him or did uh, sometimes they fought against him is this enough or if we want to be more um, specific what sort of knowledge is this of the imam is it just knowing him or is it rather acknowledging him having a relationship with him and having a deep connection and ma'rifat to him it is true that Many of our Imams have passed and they did not have the backing of their followers as they should have, including our Imam of time now. And when we tie this into this particular narration, that whoever dies and does not know their Imam of time dies at death of a polytheist, one starts to think that there is a serious consequence of not knowing what this knowledge is what is this matter of fact what is this deep knowledge so when we discuss true matter of fact and true understanding of the imam we start to realize that it is not just knowing of him but rather knowing him well and what he wants us to do what he doesn't like us to do for example just like a loving father you know him well you don't just know of him or a family member that you're close with or a close friend. You know what they dislike, you know what they like very much, and you generally tend to stay within those boundaries that they like because you know them well, you have a deep connection with that person. So that is different of, let's say, someone you've heard of that you know of. It's the same with our Imam of time. If we establish this connection with him, this deep connection, it's both ways. It's not just from our point of view. We'll feel this in our this presence in our life. And it really makes a difference. This matter of fact. So this begs the question: how do we increase our matter of fact, our, our deeper understanding and deep connections with the Imam? Just like you would with your kind father that loves you and you love him. The same thing, when, when you say salam to your father in the morning, when you have an issue, you go to him. So how do we establish a better relationship with our kind father of the Imam? For example, making dua for him every day after every prayer. There's already a, a link with you and your Imam there. He knows it, he hears of this. He sees our a'mal, our actions, our day-to-day -day actions. It's, it's been sent to him. So when he sees that you've been praying for him, when he sees that you've been putting sadaqah aside for him, for his health, when, you, when he sees that you've been doing du'ai ahd, when he sees that you've refrained yourself from sinning and doing harmful behavior, you're closer to him. He won't be disappointed in you. He'll be happy with you, just like your father would be happy with you. And that's key. The other main thing is bettering ourselves. For example, if you're weak, if you're tired, if you're always lazy, if you're arrogant, if you're not a good example, you're not, your father is not going to be happy. And bearing in mind that the Imam sees what we do even when others don't. Maybe your father at home doesn't know sometimes some of the weaknesses that you may have, but the Imam knows this. And it saddens him when he gets our report twice a week. I'll give you one more example. We speak to many youth and when I speak to them, they're really passionate. They really want to help their mom. I see it. I feel it in them. But when you ask them about, are you able to do things that you may not like for the sake of your mom against yourself? Are we able to answer this question? So let's get strong for the sake of our Imam and remove our weaknesses. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.